Love in a Field of Dreams has turned into more of a nightmare for some Middletown parents. The field was designed for children with disabilities, but some say the concession stands and bathrooms are still inaccessible. New at 11, Robert Lowry's been digging into those concerns. Joins us live with what he discovered. Robert? Well, parents and coaches reached out to us after dealing with some of those problems all season long. I did some digging and found the field is leased through the Middletown Youth Softball Association, and the group is tasked with maintaining the field along with other facilities. Tonight, the Dreamcatcher League is making a push to get that lease. Play ball! On this field in Middletown, these kids with disabilities are living big league dreams. A new pastime Anthony Trotter Jr. and his son are now enjoying. He played the first season, so he's, this is the second season playing. But recently, this break from everyday challenges is getting overshadowed by off-field issues. Our dream field is not getting the attention that it deserves. We still have, you know, a hole at home plate that's been there for about six years. Our whole field needs to be uh, realigned. Parents and coaches for the Dream Catcher League also say bathrooms made specifically for these children have not been open. The closest bathroom, three ball fields away. I took these concerns to the Middletown Youth Softball Association, the group leasing the city's fields. The group's president and vice president declined an on-camera interview, but said in part many of the problems come from being short-staffed. The Dreamcatcher League is now hoping the city will let their group maintain the field. We've already got our own board. Mm -hmm. um, we've already started the paperwork um, to become our own entity. An entity these athletes and their parents hope will bring new life to a troubled field. They know what it's like. I mean, they have good days, bad days. The parents and the people on the committee would know what they're dealing with with the children. The Dream Catcher League met with the Park Board for Middletown tonight, trying to figure out what the next step is to get the lease for that field. We'll continue following this story and we'll let you know any new developments. Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.